Afternoon folks, Brian here with you Magnetic Earth Watch. Friday, July 11, 2025. Let's do a quick global report. Let's start off with our sun. I understand some people are getting all excited about this. Relax, stay calm. It's all right. A large coronal hole opening once again. So this section here is now Earth facing, which means, let's say in about two days, Sunday, we'll be receiving the faster solar winds, bringing the highly charged particles. We'll keep an eye on it. No big deal. Up here in the north, uh, northeast quadrant. Looks like a large uh, filament is getting ready to snap off. No big deal. Relax. And an active flaring region here. Stay calm. Next, I've been telling you this for uh, close to a month now. The waters in the Gulf. I'm not going to say it's proper legal old name because some people are going to get upset. Uh, let's just call it the Gulf of Southern Canada here. Uh, the waters are getting quite warm once again off the shores of uh, Louisiana, is it? Texas? Temperatures are 31.2 degrees, 31.4. Again, warmer waters generated in the Gulf create our atmospheric conditions, including large accumulations of rain. I do not understand why people on YouTube are not focusing on this. What's wrong with you? Come on. continue Let's check our jet streams so once again North America is on the opposite side of the magnetic pole excursion, resulting in a f uh, further of the distance between the two ends of the bar magnet magnetic poles, resulting in weaker magnetic field over, over, where, where, right here. Take a look at some heat. Uh, so Southern Australia. Uh, so first of all, off Tasmania, I made a mistake. I did not realize that there's a couple of uh, natural gas infrastructures here and the odd heat detection is probably the flare stack. Uh, here, there's some infrastructure. I don't see anything here. Those of you who live there can uh, let me know if there's any. Right, right here. So you can let me know if there's any infrastructure there, oil or gas, platforms. Now, normally when I see something in a new location, I like to do a check before I say anything. And I just, I don't see anything here listed. I do know there's lots here in the northwest corner and up here and down here. I don't see any infrastructure here. Anyway, let's move along. Southern Italy again. I've covered so many so far. So I've covered this one earlier on. I've covered uh, up here now. And I will spend more time on it this evening. And this location here. So I think I just picked one point. Uh, coordinates.
So in this populated area, area starting here, working its way this way, up the slope. Here, all up in here, we have some heat. And um, oh, something else I've noticed. Offshore Albania and to the north, see this? This is an algae bloom. You can get this when the waters are heated up. Let's go back day by day. Just starting this, uh, yesterday. Not all that much. Sun glare off the ocean or the sea waters. On the 8th, hardly anything. Seventh, very little. And the sixth, now today, algae blooms. Lost the cover. I just, I got to be selective so I'm not uh, too long and I don't have too much time during the daytime. Some very large heat spreads in uh, Nevada. We'll look at those uh, further later. Another grouping up here to the north east corner. Also in Colorado. Like I said, I'll try and spend more time in this evening on all these. Cross-check with the state fire reporting offices. Okay, that's all I want to get into for now. So pay attention to the warming waters. If you're on anybody else's YouTube channel, ask them why they're not focusing attention here. Course, uh, warming waters in the Mediterranean. Okay, folks, I'll see you later on tonight.